fields are on, well, the teams are on the field. American Samoa at the Oceania Sevens. Greg Clark with you, alongside me, Rio Olympian Cameron Clark. And Samoa, 36 nil over Tavalu, 50 nil over the Solomons. They will start hot favourites in this one. And we're underway. Bounce is picked up by Joe Tauwa, and he gives it to, to Beast. American Samoa, 10 metre mark. Happy just to uh, shift it. Anderson finds the winger on the far side. The cover coming across. It's a well-drilled team, uh, Samoa. Casey the Beast trying to catch him, napping down the short side. Backing up now on the inside is... Uh, Cordiati. And it's been all American Samoa from a possession point of view. And now the chance that the Samoans wanted. They got the penalty. Masafal. Masafal. Malakesi Puna Masafal. Well, the first opportunity with ball in hand, and they come up with five points. Oh, great try, Samoa. Puna Masafal. With the finish, by looking very comfortable in defence there. American Samoa with a lot of ball. And their first opportunity, getting the ball to the edge. Put a massive foul backing himself. Brings it a bit round a bit for an easier kick. Looking after his teammates there. So Samoa been together for about a month or so all local based as well which is fantastic for the development of uh, sevens and rugby in general in uh, Samoa Brian Lima not tempted to bring in some of the Samoan bigger names that playing 15s around the world sticking with the uh, the locally based players and he thinks he's got the team that might be able to secure the Paris Olympics spot for next year Tonga might have something to say about that. Papua New Guinea fancy their chances as well. But it is uh, seven points to nil at the moment. Tomorrow over American Samoa. They lost white. Not the sort of pass you want to receive inside your own 22, but they're able to control it for the moment. Big counter right coming from Samoa. It's been picked up somehow there. There's an American Samoa play down in back play. They've only got nine fit players. They might be down to eight now as the ball is towed downfield and that uh, injured player is back on his feet. So he's okay. <laughs> Just needed a bit of magic water. Joe Tuua. And they try and set something up. Casey to Beast, and now Matabal. The biggest man on the paddock offloads. There's the kick ahead, and who wants it? Falls for Samoa. Just in slow motion at the moment. There's BJ Lima, son of the uh, the coach brian goes to ground penalty uh, fellow nico and uh Nuyula delivering in midfield looking for someone to find a hole back it goes to bj lima he puts a foot on the gas gets the fen going and lima scores for samoa spotted the gap and it was all over BJ Lima finally dotting it down under the sticks. Long passage of play there. Going back and forth. Some tired defenders. And BJ Lima just spots the gap, puts the head down. Motors for another try for Samoa. And from right in front, Alessio Samoalu. We all are. the extras. Oh, 
have a look at it here. Yeah, the gap was there. He pinned the ears back, and away he, he goes. Number three, DJ Lima. 14-0. Oh, the penalty. Oh, and this could be trouble also. Yes. Four. Tackle the man in the air. It's a no-no. So, American Samoa. Have a man in the bin. So, Kim, they started with 12 or 13 players. They lost two yesterday, American Samoa. Today, they've lost uh, Paanga and also Lola Seal. So, they're down to nine. I've been asked Brunch. by the coach, Toko Astatau, did you bring your boots? Fine. <laughs> Maybe we can get Henry Hutchinson to come back a little bit earlier than Set. Dubai to go out and help an American Samoa. Awesome. Alicia Lucas Quirk might have a run. But it is Samoa as we get back to the action. And losing his footing there is Masapal. He scored one try in the first half. Nafisua, captain, picking up Lalamilo. And now Felonico. A oh, good loft road off the deck. After Sewer, the captain. Penalty. Seven on six at the moment. Some are a man up. Mayula. Oh, just uh, having a little bit of fun out there. Ball in two hands. Defence stood off him and he said, thank you very much. I'll take five points. Yeah, great work there. That's the way you want to carry the ball. Engaging defenders. And he's got the pace to beat his man on the outside. Bit scrappy, ball went to deck there. He squares up his defender, ball in two hands. And too much pace on the outside. Samoa looking comfortable at the moment. Conversion from out wide not successful, but it's looking good on the score sheet as their fans. Wave the flag. It's 19 points to nil. Time for a restart as well in this first half. Samoa, as I mentioned, all locally based in the islands. And uh, they have lost their captain from last year, Milani Matubal, who has signed for Moana Pacifica in Super Rugby Pacific. They had five victories last year. Samoa, but just missed out on securing a spot for the Olympic Games. More on that in the second half. But at half time here, it is 19 points to nil. Now, I'm looking forward to this. Two golden girls together. By one or two points. And now they get an opportunity to seal the deal here. But that was a loose carry, and so the American Samoans will get the put into the scrum. No hurry to pack this scrum either. It's pretty warm out there. As you see there, not the start Samoa would have liked in this second half. It's a loose carry. Coach. Now American Samoa with the first Five. chance to hit back in the second half. Sit. To my hello, hello. Big rush up defence from the fellow Nico on ten metre marks. So going backwards at the moment, American Samoa. Anderson firing it over to this big right winger. It's going to come back again for American Samoa. What a great pass. And it just pops up now for Samoa. And that one there reaching back. Good hands. Niula has got a clear run to the line. The sprint is on, but no, the chase gives up now. And so it's another one. For the man that's got some speed on him, Palacio Samuela Niaula. So that's two. He's only 20 years of age. Fine talent. Niaula showing a clean set of heels there. He's off the ball, spurts out. Niaula with big right foot step. 
plenty of pace to make it all the way to the try line. So 26 points to nil at the moment. Conversion was successful. Lurik and Samoa have the man back from the bin now. So seven on seven. I think you'll find that the Samoan coach Brian Lima will certainly try and spread the players around now in this uh, second half to try and conserve as much energy as possible. Good run down the left flank by Nia Levaya. And, yep, he pretty much had spiders on him as well. No one wanted to tackle him. Great bit of work down the edge there. Samoa going in again. Liking the way they're playing. They're starting to rotate a few players. Just stands up his opposite man. Uses the last every inch of that sideline there. Strolls around for another try for Samoa. Conversion successful. The try scorer, Tonu'u, New Levaya. And it is 33 points to nil. I know some people have been impressed by some of the Samoan defence. And that's a great restart as well. You can be impressed by that. And oh, running onto it now is Farfoy Felonico. So there's one from the kickoff. Simple stuff in the end. And the American Samoans out of gas, as I mentioned. They lost uh, two players yesterday. They've lost another two today. They might look for a few replacements from around the local area. Well, and Nico there, the restart, such a crucial part of this game. Perfect, perfect execution. A little offload, and Father Nico runs it under the sticks. They're in a great line in support. And now from the restart. Finally, some pill for American Samoa. Penalty goes to the American Samoans. I was going to say, Cam, a lot of people have been impressed by the defence at times from uh, Samoa. Of course, they are coached by the chiropractor, Brian Lima. And his nickname is pretty obvious. He used to hit so hard that every time someone was hit by Brian Lima while he was playing for Manu Samoa, they had to book an appointment with the chiropractor the next day. And good to see that uh, Brian is still contributing big time to Samoa. His son, BJ Lima, is in number three for Samoa as well. And defense is standing up today still yet to drop a to let in a try so he's obviously doing some good work with them who was the biggest hitter when you were playing on the world series Ooh, great question it's got to be one of the island teams Maybe they know so how not. to dip their dip their height and really drive their shoulder in definitely feel it for a couple of weeks afterwards I'm looking at uh, Henry Hutchison in the commentary box as well. 2016 on the wing of Fiji and <laughs> Rawanka. Rawanga. And now over on the far side, Samoa again pinning the ears back. And there's a high tackle there as uh, Apelu Maliko gets the try. This man is actually still signed for a French club. They've released him to come back down here to help Samoa. Uh, find this spot for the Paris Olympics and uh, judging by
ground. The chase is on. American Samoa getting back there. Joe to Ua. And there's the counter ruck from Samoa. And there is the half century, the big man, Kaunu'u Niu Lavaya. He's got a double. It was pretty simple in the end, but gee, that counter ruck was impressive. Bringing that physicality the whole game, the Samoans. See here with the counter ruck. Gets a little window, just the body height to get underneath. An easy finish in the end. Not a fair matchup, really. Impressive for uh, physique. Near Lou Levaya. And Joe to Ua receiving some treatment as well. He's been receiving treatment on a couple of occasions. So let's hope he can make it through the tournament for the American Samoans. Fifty-two-nil, and the replacement is made. So Joe to Ua coming from the field, and we're into referees' time now. And there might be another one on the go here for Samoa. Towed through though by the Beast, and it's going to beat everybody into touch. So that is it. Once again, an impressive performance by Samoa. The only thing they want is a spot at the Olympic Games in Paris next year. And uh, they are undefeated so far. Oceania 2023. Still a long way to go, but 52.